So we are out at the ranch. Uh, we don't have any animals anymore. It is literally just the property, but all of my shit is out here because we used to live in a big house and then we consistently downsized and downsized and downsized. And now I am literally in a shipping container full of clothing. Um, so I'm going through all of my stuff, trying to work out what I want to take, what I want to get rid of, all of the things before we move. My hair smells like smoke because we were cutting mesquite yesterday and then this morning I burnt it all so I am like literally dressed in like mesquite smell. So if you like barbecue, uh, I'm probably like your favorite person right now. Also kind of sweaty and gross, but you know what? It's a hundred acres. Nobody's gonna see me except for you guys and I've got like bites all over my face because you know when you're in the country shit bites you and it just happens thankfully we're not in town no one's gonna see it i know i'm preserving it on camera forever but like i just don't really care <laughs> like this is literally like all the shit that i'm going through and this is just one like my airstream is still full of stuff but i do keep one corner clean uh you probably noticed that a lot of my videos are filmed in here and i literally keep one corner clean just for the camera and otherwise over here is like woo, my computer setup for like day trading and just basic interneting and all of that stuff but i also thought it's been a minute since we've done a foot update look they're all dirty and gross because i've been mowing the lawn this morning um, and like basic ranch stuff. So my feet are dirty, deal with it. Also, like, can you believe how long my hair is? Like normally I have like a tiny pixie cut and I've just let it grow this year and it is insane. Like even my hairdresser says that my hair grows faster than like any person that they know. And I keep cutting it and it just, it's out of control. It's just, it's long. It all falls out too. Like there's hair everywhere. I'm like worse than a dog. Like I have a hypoallergenic dog that does not shed. It's my hair that is everywhere. Anyway, I got a wicked burn. Got a nice farmer tan. Uh, when we were cutting all the mesquite, I got super burnt. I've been using the hot tub getting in just, ugh, it hurts so bad. But I've been putting cream on every day and hopefully I don't peel because that's feral. But anyway, back to the toes. So as you know, I've been doing the feet finder experiment and I think I started in like November of last year. So it's been probably like six months, I guess, five months. And I have just reached the $600 mark. I'm gonna put the picture here so you can see that it truly is $600. Now I am not doing weird photos. It is literally just feet. And that was the experiment to see if it was just feet. And like, there's a couple of like kind of spicy photos, but nothing that's like really like what you may think of um, when, you know, people say feet photos. Um, it's it is literally just feet. And what's weird is the spicy ones don't really sell. It's the ones where like people constantly request feet in stockings. And then I don't know what it is with dudes and like wasting food, but there's a lot of requests for like feet on bananas or hamburgers or custard. Like, I'm not sure what's going on there, but apparently we like to waste food. I, I don't, I don't really understand, but I mean, everyone has a jam. I have not like smooshed any food because like, I know I could make money from it, but at the same time, I also hate food wastage. Does that make sense? So I haven't done it yet. <sighs> yeah, that hurt. But then really like I put up photos of my feet in shoes, uh, just bare feet. Um, and so, and then I posted one up for my birthday and you can buy a subscription on Feet Finder. And one person was actually kind enough because I'm like, hey, it's my birthday, you know, buy this picture for my birthday present. And the guy who has the subscription actually tipped me what the amount was. So that was really nice. So yeah, I'm, I guess I'm averaging like a hundred bucks a month. And given that like, I'm not really trying that hard, like I'm not trying to make a living out of it. It is literally just, oh, you know, I'm bored. Let me take a photo of my feet and upload them. 
I mean, it's not a bad side gig. It's at least a couple coffees a month. So, you know, power to me. Now, the caveat is I do have, I guess, an inbuilt following having been a child actor that people are looking at the photos, I think, because they know who I am. And I'm not sure if I wasn't somebody um, that anybody would actually buy the photos if they weren't spicier. But the experiment was, if I buy a membership, which was only $14, was Feet Finder making money from girls trying to sell photos or were they actually making money, like selling photos? And so, so far I have definitely recouped my $14 investment because I'm up to $600. So I would say definitely like if you have any kind of following or if you've got a large Instagram or some kind of social media profile, you could probably go on Foot Finder and make a few extra dollars. Now, my husband does have y'all's back because sometimes I'm really lazy and don't post. And he's like, you know, if someone's paying a subscription, you need to upload more photos. So I have been uploading more photos and they do have a thing where you can put things up and then have them post at a later date. Because sometimes I'm traveling or, you know, like my feet swell sometimes. It's really weird. I don't know what it is. It's only the right foot and I don't want to take photos on those days. And so on the days where my feet are pretty, like, like they're dirty right now, but you know, they're kind of pretty. Um, so on those days I will snap a few extra photos and then I will upload them to post at a later date, which actually makes it really easy and I should be less lazy and do it more often. Also, because I'm down here and uh, all of the shoes that I have accrued over the years have all been placed in tubs and they are either here or in my Airstream. And as I'm going through looking for stuff, I'm pulling out shoes and being like, do these fit? Do these not fit? Should I take photos in these? And some of them I've taken photos on because they are quite cute. They are not shoes that I would wear every day because I am just not a five inch heel girl. Um, I like flats and sneakers and boots, um, but I do have some sexy shoes. So I have been taking some photos of that. And the ranch makes a really beautiful background, especially on a sunny day. So um, there's a couple that are gonna come up that uh, I've entitled like safari ones because they are some, there's some sexy shoes. Hang on, I'll show you. Look, I cannot walk in these. I mean, I could for like a very short red carpet, but not for like any length of real time. These are seriously just like, let's take a photo and then take them off. Or I'm sitting at an event in these looking very sexy, but I am not walking in these. But I did take some photos of these in the ranch because you know it looks like a jungle and we could pretend that there's a cheetah in the jungle i also just like these because like i mean it's it's printed i'm sure it's not a real animal but i mean it is real fur they've just printed it so they are they are quite sexy and they do fit like they're a size five so they're just a tad big but i mean it's rare for me to find shoes that fit because i wear a size 34. Teddy's just been sitting off camera as he always does. He's looking a bit feral, aren't you, mate? You need a bath today. But yeah, so that was my quick update with a hi from Teddy. Uh, so we're doing well on Feet Finder. Um, if you want to see some pics, it's under Shrimp Tank. Go have a look. Um, and yeah, I think I will keep posting more photos because it's a good side hustle and it it's pretty easy. I'm just really lazy. Yep. Yeah. Go get you some of those. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.